TV presenter, mixing with A-list celebrities, to now being a marketing mogul. He has loads of experience, loads of contacts, uh, loads of great tips. So delighted to have him here tonight. I want you to put your hands together and welcome up the celebrity that is Johnny Pash. Not so great, you guys, but anyway. So yes, hi guys, my name is Johnny Pash. As you can see there, the CEO of Next Generation, based just at the WeWork building down there in Moorgate. We're a marketing media agency, which is bespoke to lead generation. What I wanted to do for you guys today is just give you my five complete digital marketing tips, and it's gonna include absolutely everything. And I really want you guys to take something away and apply it to your business and your products. So my tip number one, is competitor analysis. Now before we start any marketing campaign, before we start generating the quality leads, we do a lot of research on all of the products and the company's competitors. We find out what they're doing in terms of their social engagement, what they're posting out there, who they're interacting with, how they are engaging with their customers. Constant interaction with your customers is vital for any type of successful campaign or product launch. We need to establish that before we do any type of generating leads. So my tip number one is competitor analysis. Tip two, a digital marketing campaign is the only way you can target such a precise audience who fit a criteria based on your offers. Take that in. Tip two is video content. We go absolutely crazy on video content. A lot of our clients don't have video content. And what we like to do is encourage and create lots of video content before the launch of their campaign. That can be testimonial-led content, interviewing lots of their customers and getting those short sound bites about the success of that company. Also, interviewing the CEOs of the company Talking about the history of the company, where it's come from, realistic videos of covering their office, their staff, all of that type of thing is vital. Most people will only watch 15 seconds of your social media video. Who's produced a 60 second video lately and they feel they haven't got any traction from it, right? <laughs> Four minutes. It's okay, we can splice it together and put it out there. You want to be posting a video in the morning, afternoon and the evening. 10 seconds, short, snappy, dynamic, engaging. A video should only have one message in it. Just one clear, direct, product-led message. Keep it clean, keep it simple. So that's tip two, video content. Tip three, sales functions are undergoing a massive transformation out of sheer necessity. The reason they are transforming is in direct response to the fact that the buyer is transforming. Tip three is social marketing. Very important now, everything is going social. We, we've done a lot of TV campaigns, email marketing, PPC, SEO, qualifying floor activity. Everything is switching to social. We're quite lucky to have a Facebook partnership with direct uh, partners with them so they give us a lot of back end our targeting is really refined really niche they give us a lot of hints and tips to gauge and generate the best leads and to create the best audience target retarget and funnel your audience in a wealth of content and knowledge social listening allows you to understand your audience social marketing allows you to use that data to promote your target audience with the best possible chance of success you need to do it all. Brand awareness, product educating, lead generation. Unfortunately, a big chunk of my clients, all they want is leads. Leads these leads, where are the leads? It's not about that anymore. It's about creating that branding, that awareness. We want to buy nowadays subtly, no pressure. Just be educated on a product and then we will pull the trigger where we want to. So social marketing is all switching to social guys, remember that. Tip Four, use video production to highlight brand awareness, education, and product offerings. Lead generation, massive. 
for everybody. But it's becoming a lot easier now. With GDPR last year, we're finding we do a lot of email campaigns. We lost quite a few lists, but it, it didn't matter. Our landing pages are so tight now that us as individuals and investors are forced to input the correct information. And they must tick the box of the GDPR consent and you must have your T's and C's, your privacy terms on the landing pages. They're so tight, it has actually improved the quality of our leads. Collecting leads has never been so easy. If you have a social marketing campaign that you've built through social listening, brand awareness, product education and engagement, you'll have a clear target audience to promote your product to. With just one click, a prospective client through social media can send you their details through a lead generation form. Very easy, short, snappy. Better yet, building your own lookalike audiences from your existing email marketing data is a surefire way to increase the volume of your target audience. We've probably got mountains of email data out there that we collected over the years. Now, with GDPR, it's very hard to market that data through email marketing. Sometimes a lot of the data isn't directly opted into your company, but through social media, you can actually upload all of that email data. You create a lookalike audience for yourself, your products and your target audience, and then you can market videos directly to them, and it's completely compliant. So have a little play with your social media when you get back and if you've got a lot of email data you can input it and create that lookalike audience. Tip number five, build a lookalike target audience from your wealth of email data to target with social. So my tip number five is listen to the audience. Social listening can tell you how long your target audience will watch a video before they switch up, what time of the day they are on social media and engaging, what type of content they mostly engage with, what keywords interest will attract them to your product or service. Create your audience and content with the data before you engage with them. You see how targeted social media is now? You can not only compile the best audience to suit the response from your product or campaign, but you get all the added highlights with it as well. The word comes to mind stalkerish, <laughs> in a way. It's so targeted and I really encourage everybody to specialise in the words marketing. So that's me and my tips. I was going to say if I had any questions. Yes, there were two yeah. questions. I'll give the microphone ready. Any questions for Johnny? Yeah, thank you for the talk. Very informative. Um, can you give some tips about the content, video content, like what works best? Is it educational, emotional stamp videos or shocking videos? Like what would you uh, describe as working well for the business and the captures? Okay, great attention. question. And look, I would encourage, you're a new company, right? New startup company? Um, yeah, relatively, yeah. What we find is the story. The story goes a long way. The history of the company, who's involved, the um, accredited CEOs within the company who have got a long-standing history in doing what they do. I find more personalized videos nowadays go a long way. So as I mentioned earlier, if you've got some customers, repeat customers that you know are firmly on your books and you've got great relationships with, get them to the office and just film them for five minutes talking about your service. That type of testimonial video content goes a long way. And then once you create a social marketing campaign through Facebook and broadcast that video out with a direct direct link to, to the landing page, it goes a long way. So I'd encourage yourself, just film, interview the CEOs of the company, create the story, testimonial video content goes a long way, and just keep it more real, real life, you know? Not too salesy salesy, just keep it nice and simple and organic, just all about the company itself. Cool. Thank you so much. Hi, Hello. Tony. Uh, just one simple question. In Instagram, in a story, so I got an Instagram, but I mean, not, not great, I mean, followers. Yeah. And yeah, in, a, in, uh, in Instagram story, so you said, like, keep it simple. And yeah, so, but uh, I've heard, I mean, I've read about that, like, uh, you need to hashtag as more as you can, like, uh, because I'm clothing, I mean, I, I got a clothing brand, I mean, okay. personally. So I need to keep on hashtag like a fair trade, anything with the I mean sustainability, uh, eco fashion. So do I need to hashtag all those or just I need to 
Uh, hashtag the Sukasmi. So what, what's your solution? Well, everybody's on about hashtags, hashtag this, hashtag that. It does make a slight difference. Obviously, anybody can actively search you and the type of business that you're in. But I find it's all about the video content. So for you, for yourself in the fashion industry, probably, you know, us lovely people here, we want to see the making of the fashion and where it's come from and, and the factories behind it. And the owners themselves creating and seeing what's going on behind the scenes. That type of content is sellable. I just focus on your content. Keep it real life and just capture lots of elements of your day. That type of stuff's interesting. I'd be wanting to buy from you from that. But obviously hashtag the life out. Okay, thank you then. One more, one more. Uh, I'm in video production, so what you've been saying you know. is like nectar in my ears. <laughs> what would you say to someone who was who's quite keen now in light of the fact that they need video but feels like they can't afford it or don't see the value and return on investments in, in producing video? Is that possibly the clients you're you're going out out to? What we tend to try and do these days is under, is help people understand video in the same way that yeah. you've done. There's no one video that solves everything. What's better is a campaign that's managed over a period of time with different types of video. We call that the ice cream model of video marketing because it's the most of you've got to understand and put things in combination to build a strategy. But of course, people still think that cost is a, is a barrier of entry to video marketing. Obviously, there are ways you can do it yourself, but when, I guess, do you advise people that they start to get professionals in? So what we, what we do, myself and Carl, we always say to the client, it costs you X amount for 10 to 15 videos a month, or 20 to 30 videos. And what we do for that client is create storyboards, very simple, sellable, which will incorporate all of the benefits of the company, the history, as I mentioned, but with a clear, direct call to action of a sellable product. And we will literally just splice together 10 to 15 different videos, all with mixed messaging, because a lot of the audience here, they might not want to buy fluffy pink slippers. They may want to buy the fluffy yellow slippers. So I would suggest to yourself and your clients a complete um, storyboard of the company and lots of different mixed messaging and just get posting them out. And, and that way you can test the videos, see which gets the best traction, and then just roll out your budget on a few of those and maybe ditch the rest. So that's what I would say for yourself, definitely. Well, unfortunately we're out of time. You have to grab Johnny afterwards. We are done. But please put your hands together for the amazing. Thank you.